Hi, I'm Jeff Kelderman with Kelderman Air Suspensions. What I'd like to show you today is our latest suspension system for the E350 and 450 bus chassis. This is a two bag rear suspension. It's a little bit different than the other suspensions on the market, whereas we do not remove the leaf springs, and we're not just adding a bag to the top of the leaf spring either. The Kelderman Air Ride suspension connects to the factory leaf spring shackle. Now this chassis, when it's shipped from the factory, actually has a bracket here that holds the end of the leaf spring shackle in place. We cut the rivet heads off and connect our air ride suspension to the end of the shackle. This results in a two-stage suspension. We've got the factory leaf springs that are still heavy duty and built for carrying. When you get a two-stage suspension system, you have not only leaf springs working, but you have our air ride framework which assists in the ride. With the two bag rear system installed, this allows the air ride system to pick up all the small bumps in the road that the heavy duty leaf springs aren't gonna absorb because they're designed to carry a heavy load. As I'm pulling the bus up and down, it's the chassis that's actually moving where the factory leaf spring isn't budging an inch. So this is all additional travel that this two bag rear provides. If you didn't have a two bag rear on this and it was still hooked up to the factory shackles to the factory frame, you wouldn't be able to move this coach a quarter inch. So this is all additional ride provided by the Kelderman two bag rear. Control package we use on these systems is an automatic height control valve. It gets its air from an onboard compressor. It's a 12 volt, runs off the battery. And we also have a three gallon air tank for reserve. This height control valve will keep the correct pressure in the bags, whether you have one person in this coach or if you have 20. The installation on this system is very easy. Four bolts on each side, hooks up the upper framework. We have a bolt here, it's our pivot point, and we have a bolt here that hooks up to the factory shackle. The entire installation for a system like this with controls is four to five hours at the most. 